Welcome back to another edition of Tea and Toys. Okay, first up, a little quick, very quick video in regards to some leaks that have dropped in the last couple of days. Now, we all know that we either have or we know about Huffer, and he's out in the Kingdom line. And although slightly delayed, we know Pipes is coming in Wave 4 of Kingdom. Now, what's dropped is a select double pack leak. Now, we already have seen Puffer, which was based on either a European or South American exclusive Huffer or Pipes mold that was coloured in this white and blue. And in the same two pack, we have what seems to be more of a Huffer look, but it actually looks like they haven't sculpted the mouth on him. So it's actually a different head as well. So it looks like we've got four possible different heads. Maybe they just haven't painted the eyes in. Well, it's possible, it's possible we've got this here. So yeah, basically the Ranger or Road Ranger as he is originally known, or Truck, if you're a fan of the UK Eagle comics back in the 1980s. So this is a two pack using both the Huffer and Pipes molds. Now, as we've explained the South American and European connection in regards to Puffer, who's now canonized as a official character. Now, Ranger or Road Ranger, however you want to call him, is based on the Gobot of the same name. Now, as you all know, I'm a big Gobots fan. Uh, but I'm not a fan of incorporating Gobots into the Transformers. It's, they are very much a different species altogether. Although, yes, very similar. And I do prefer to view them as a very separate entity. I'm, like I said, big, huge Gobots fan. I don't like the incorporating into it. And I really would love it if Hasbro sold them off. Not that they're going to, because it's competition for their Transformers. Um, as they're all greedily gobbling them up all robot based brands like Power Rangers as well so yeah no no robot competing competitor there which is a shame so here he is and so let's have a look at what Road Ranger is based on now we have already seen Bug Bite from the same set back in 2004 there was a GoBot story at the was it the eHobby eHobby GoBot story which had six GoBots trying to rescue their universe, the GoBots universe, not in my eyes, no way. Um, so what, what came in that six pack? What well, we had Pathfinder here, which is based on Cosmos. We had Road Ranger, I think the new one's called Ranger. And this is what it used to look like here. Smallfoot, again, that's her here. And uh, Treads, who was in fact a guardian but he, some randomly, he was depicted to be a Decepticon in the series. I don't know why they couldn't have used Destroyer. You could flip down the original Warpath head so you can get that original Destroyer look of the character. Why they use Treads, I don't know. Could have just used Destroyer. Uh, Bad Boy, again, not in his original colours. And Bug Bite. So this is the original GoBot look on the sides. And this was the original 2004 box set, which is where they're taking the uh, Ranger color scheme from so we've already got bug bite and now we're going to get road ranger so maybe this is a clue we'll be getting a new cosmos we actually already have a new warpath do you know what? I, I was looking at this and i've just literally just thought yeah we already have it so we could actually see treads stroke destroy i actually hope he's all retconned into being destroyer not the original go destroyer just the transformers version of that character who is somewhat very similar <laughs> Yeah, again, I'm defending it. So we could actually see treads from the Warpath. We've already got the, the Huffer mold using Road Ranger, and we've obviously already had a version of Bumblebee. We know that Bug Bite can't be a, a Volkswagen Beetle because it's a baddie, and that's something that Volkswagen don't want the Beetle to be used for, so we probably won't get a Beetle version of Bug Bite. It would just be that Cliff Jumper mold with the Bumblebee head, which. I don't particularly mind, if I'm honest. Um, others do, but if you like the character, it looks perfectly fine in Rebel Mode. As you can see here, there he is, a mercenary. I actually think that all these GoBot type characters, I say type characters, should 
just have been whacked in the mercenaries faction. Just something a little bit different, just keep them a little bit outside the box. Have that little lure of mystery about them. There you go. That's one of those things that they didn't do. Again, the mercenaries, massive waste of a pointless faction. We probably won't ever see or hear it again after this uh, set of trilogies that we're getting at the moment. So yes, so fingers crossed for a new Cosmos, and then maybe they'll do this version of Pathfinder. Fingers crossed for a new Brawn Stroke. Oh no, that's based on Swerve. I think she's actually based on the Swerve mold. So hopefully we'll get a Brawn Stroke Swerve, and we get a new Power Glide as well. But that's it. So yeah, so that's the little bit of tidbit news. We've got the leak of Road Ranger Stroke Ranger. So what do you think? Don't forget to love, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.